today you are going to learn how to add almost any website to tactical arbitrage by getting the XPath for a website and adding it to tactical arbitrage. I'm saying almost every website because not every single website uses XPath, but every single website that uses XPath can be added to tactical arbitrage. If you do not know what XPath is, it's pretty much just think of it as a as a coding language, okay? If this if a website uses this coding language, you will be able to use to add this website to tactical arbitrage. So quickly, we to 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 exemplify, we are going to use the website speedousa.com, okay, which is a website that I already have in my XPath. So in tactical arbitrage, if you want to add websites, um, so first of all, let's go to the main website. Okay, let's go to tactical arbitrage. Here we go. Beam. And then you're going to scroll down to settings. You're going to go to advanced user. And this is the place where you can actually add websites. Okay, this is websites that I've added to my to my um, tactical arbitrage. Here you go. So the only thing that you will need to do is click on create new rule. And um, this is where you are going to add the stuff. So this is all the stuff that is required. Okay, not everything needs to be added. So quickly, just so you understand what you will need to do, you will need to add the thing that helps the tool that will help the tool uh, understand the pagination of the web page. So how to go to the next page, the previous page, where in the URL it is. Usually, you can just um, do this, copy this in the URL, okay, because this is for speedo.com, and paste it, all right? Uh, but before we go any further, by the way, my name is Chris Mangunza. I did not introduce myself. I'll release daily videos about selling on Amazon, and so if you are new here, make sure to subscribe and like this video so you get recommended more videos like this that are going to help you make more money on Amazon FBA, all right? So, Let's go a little bit further. You are going to need one tool to help you get the XPath, okay? The pagination is the easiest part, okay? This is the easiest part. When it comes to, uh, when it comes to the, and of course, sometimes we will need to use the, the multiplication. It's a little bit complicated, but most of the time you are not going to use this, okay? But you are going to need a tool to help you get the XPath, okay? And just get XPath helper, okay? Add it to Chrome. It's a Chrome extension. Just look for it on Google Chrome. Uh, on Google, I'm sorry, you're going to find it, all right? Just add it to you. Just add it as an, ex uh, as an extension and um, yeah, you'll be fine. By the way, it is going to be a lot of work and it is going to be a little bit confusing, okay? So if you do not want to do it yourself, come on the Discord server, boom, go to the open ticket, because there's a link for the Discord server, by the way. There's a link for the Discord server in the description. Come on the Discord server, um, go on the open ticket channel and click on TAX path, okay? So one member of my team or myself is going to um, answer your ticket and just say which website you want during to test if to see if the website can actually be added um if we can actually add this website to tactical arbitrage and they will do it for 20 dollars okay my team will do it for you for 20 dollars if you don't want to do it yourself all right because it's a little bit it, it's a little bit of work okay so let's just start all right so um we are going to need to look at a couple of things and we're going to need to add uh, a couple of things into the into the into this field into these fields all right so most of the time, you can just use the category page uh, XPath, which are on the left. On the right is anything that you get on the product page. If you can get those things on the on the category page, it is fine. It is going to work. Sometimes you will need to actually go to the product page. Usually, if you want to use the UPC, the EAN, uh, if it is actually shown on the product page, uh, if you actually get that information on the product page. Okay, so, of course... Um, you choose the marketplace. It can be chosen on any marketplace. You add the domain over there, so it would be speedousa. Speedousa.com. Uh, and then if you want to, you can add a picture, but, you know, it's just some extra work. I'm not going to do this, okay? It's pretty simple. Find a picture, download it, upload it. That's it. All right? So, we are going to need to find first um, the, 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 the... We are going to start from here, okay? The category page, product block... XPath, okay, just so you understand what it is. And it's going to be the same process for every single thing, okay? For the product title, uh, for the URL, for the, 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 the title, if there's a second part of the title, which is not the case on Speedo USA, uh, the, for the image, for the price, and yeah, the UPCN, if it's on that page, if not, you know, it's the same thing. Print self-explanatory, all those elements, you're going to need to find all those elements right there okay the title the second part of the title the product you're going to need to find them one way or another okay and you're going to need to get the xpath so as i said the tool xpath helper is going to help us do this okay and i'm going to show you how so you're going to need the second thing you're going to need to use the inspect element function on uh google chrome okay on google chrome super easy to do you just do a right click okay and you click on inspect all right so you are gonna try so you'll notice that whenever you over over the bit of code that is right here 
um, it is going to highlight the part of the website that you are hovering, right? Let me just make this a little bit smaller so it will be a little bit easier to do. With the product block thing, what we really want to get is we want to get um, all this, okay? The, the picture, the title, the reviews, all that stuff. So I'm going to over over that stuff until I actually get it. And so yeah, I think this is this element, but I'm going to choose this one, okay? Because usually you need to understand a tiny bit of HTML. And so LI means list, okay? And so usually if you get the LI, it is going to work. So you are just going to do right click on it, copy copy x path but this is not the end of the world because you'll notice that it just highlights one of the products we want it to highlight all the products you are not going to do it uh right there but you're just going to copy it because you saw that if i click when i clicked on x path helper it actually opens this uh, this thing on top right so i'm going to paste this here okay and you'll notice that it highlighted just the first part, I mean, just the product, okay? The reason why is because the HTML, the HTML is directing in between those brackets after the LI line is just the first item in the list, okay? If I put two, it's going to give me the second. Three is going to give me the third, okay? And you'll notice on the, on the right that it is just giving me one result, okay? We want to get all the results on that page. So I'm just going to delete this, the, the, the thing that specifies the, 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 which item in the list I want the, 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 the tool to return, the code to return. And so by dealing with this, you see that now I have 100 results, which is all the product block page on this specific page, okay? All right. Here we go. So it selected all of them. So 25 times four, there's four products right there, 25 row of product. And so we have 100 products. We have the 100, we have the, this bit of code. It's returning every single, like the whole list of product, the whole list of product blocked code, whatever. Okay. So that's the first step. And I'm just going to paste this right here. Okay. Because this is the product block. All right. Um, next thing. So you would pretty much need to do this for every single thing. And so let's just look because sometimes you do not need to do everything. I already have my team already built the Speedo USA for me. And so, yes, so pretty much you, you will need to do this for every single thing. You see that the way my team did it was a little bit different, but just by doing it the way I showed you, it is going to work. Okay. So, uh, the, the, you would do the exact same thing for every single element right there. This is what was done for the product block. Then for the product title, let's just do it for the product title. So I can show you another example. Boom. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Inspect. Okay. Click on inspect. And what we want is just the product title. Here we go. So that is the product title. We're going to do the exact same thing. Copy, copy X path. Boom. Let's paste it here. Boom. And so we, you notice that it is just giving us this specific product in this case. So, uh, what I want is really get the, 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 the div that is above because this is my mistake. I selected the wrong one and it's good that I actually made that mistake. You want to select the div. Okay, the div is basically a container in HTML. And so what you're going to do is right click on the div right now. Okay, just go the element above. Here we go. We are going to copy the X path. Boom. And no, because what I did pretty much is just do the H3 class, which is not what I should have done. I should have selected the div. Okay. And so boom, right here. And so I only have run results, but you already, you can already know, you, you, you pretty much already know what I will need to do. So the list is right there. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the selector for the list and boom, we have the 100. It's always going to be the same thing. Whenever you see the list, you delete that stuff. And so uh, instead of returning just the product that you selected, it is going to return the whole list. And so this is why right now we have 100 results. Okay. So exact same thing. I would get this, copy it and paste it right there. Okay. Um, there's a, a, a couple of ways to do it. It's a good way. Um, I mean, the way that my team did it, because the, the, the guy that did it for me is actually a developer. So he did it a, a little bit of, of a different way, but the way that I'm showing you is actually the easiest way to do it. If you are a beginner. Okay. And so let's look at, at a couple of different other things. Okay. We can do the, the URL or we can do the, 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 let's do the price. Okay. Let's do a last one. Uh, let me right click here. We could actually, you know what, should we do the link? Uh, I don't know if you guys want me to do the link or, or do the price. We'll just do the price. Okay. We'll just do the price. It's just going to be the exact same thing every single time um the link you would just need to find the element where the link of the product is pretty much and make sure that you export just you and of course on every single website by the way 
So it's something that you need to be adaptable. And I know that, you know, some of you guys are actually not, you want to be solved everything on a silver platter, okay? Um, it is it is something that you need to be adaptable. You need to try and test um, a couple of things to see what's working on every single page. It's not going to be exactly like this on every single page, but this is the this is pretty much the, the big, the, like, how to actually do it the easiest way, okay? This is just the, um, this is the way it works, okay? So, um, yeah. Of course, my washing machine is making noise right now, which is fine. But yeah, it's exact same thing. Okay, so this is the element. This is the span. So this is not what we want to get. We want to get the product, the product block price. Okay, boom. So copy, copy X path, boom, paste. Okay, same thing. We just have the price right here. What we want is to get everything. So the way the website is structured, super easy. The list is right there. Okay, I delete this boom i delete this and now i have 92 results okay so the reason why i have 92 results may be because yeah for whatever reason this one was not pulled and this one was not pulled okay so okay so there's a few of them that were not pulled maybe because um it is done a tiny bit differently uh it is quoted a tiny bit differently let's just check okay let's just select this one inspect and do the exact same thing. Okay, this is the block that we have for the price. Let's copy the X path right there. And as I said, you know, you need to play with it and find what's going to work. Okay, so it's number 17, but for whatever reason, it was not pulled. And yeah, when I actually choose this one, you see I have actually the 100 results. Okay, so as I said, you need to play with it a little bit. It's going to be a little bit different for every single website. You just need to figure it out. Okay, same thing. If you, if you want to find the URL, you just need to get the X path, the, 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 that, that specific bit of code for every single, um, for every single, for every single, every single, um, what is it called? For every single category or, or thing that is actually right here right okay so you need to get it for the url you need to get it for the for the for the product blog for the product title for all that stuff okay that's pretty easy that's the only thing that you need to do okay uh, if you cannot get it if you cannot get it and yeah actually this was added right here the page number as i told you you know it's just this okay it's just that bit of code in the url okay and um same thing you know you just need to play with it for every single website is going, going to be a tiny bit different but that is the whole process okay if you want to get the url same thing you click here boom you find you find where the url is for the for the products you usually the url will be yeah with something like this with href but href this one is let me see. Actually, it looks like it's the URL. Okay, so you would need to get. Um, I don't know if yeah, probably if I actually get the, um, you would just need to play with it until you figure out a way that it actually returns uh, the URL. So right, I'm just going to copy the element. Boom, not not copy the element. I'm sorry. I'm going to copy the X path. Boom, here we go. And I'm going to try to get the eight the. Um, the, the 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 url from here from from this right so maybe if i do slash href no it was slash a uh, but slash a just give us slash a just give us the 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 the, the, the link but you know same thing first of all i'm going to remove this boom so right now i have the 100 results let's just look at what he did right here okay so what he did right here boom 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 it's at href okay so you just play with it instead of having slash a you have slash at href no um slash a slash maybe at href boom here we go you know you just need to play with it a little bit okay and so right there we have the um, we have the link so that's pretty much what you would need to do okay you just play with it a little bit just the two things that you really need to know is you need to understand a tiny bit of html okay understand that href in the html code will link to uh it will link to a link okay will link to a url you need to understand what a div is a div is a container and so usually you want to get the div the xpath for the div so just by removing the list you're going to get all the divs and all the information that you need and yeah from there you just play a tiny bit with the bit of code that you actually copy from there and uh, it's going to return what you actually want to get okay so that's pretty much all you get you know xpath for tactical arbitrage i hope this video was helpful once again if you need, if you do not want to do it yourself, okay, uh, this is pr pretty much, the, the, I showed you the way to do it, okay, if you want to, if you want my team to do it for you, 
20 dollars my team will do it for you uh, for any website that you want okay 20 dollars per website of course okay so um yeah that's the way it works hopefully this was helpful uh if it was leave a like to all that youtube stuff and uh, i'll see you tomorrow thank you for watching